Hi everyone, I'm Shahram Rasuzadeh from Gottbad University of Namchen in the Netherlands. And in this video, I'm going to talk about our paper named Weak Tweak Keys for the Craft Block Cipher. This work is done together with my PhD supervisor, Grigor Landa, from Ruhr University of Bochum in Germany. First, I will talk about the craft block cipher itself, how it is designed, how and how it works. The cipher was designed by our group in Bochum and was and we presented at FSC 2019. The main motivation and the goal to design this new cipher was to present a cipher which is which to be efficient while it is implemented together with fault detection or fault correction countermeasures. However, there were other secondary goals. We wanted the cipher to support decryption on top of encryption while uh, uh, with a small overhead. Also, we wanted to be a tweakable block cipher and be lightweight as much as possible. We came up with the craft block cipher, which its name is crafted from this phrase, efficient protection against fault attacks. Its block and tweak sizes both are 64 bits and the key size is 128 bits. About its security, we claimed 120 bit security level in the related tweak model. Its general structure is a substitution permutation network. It has 32 rounds that the first 31 rounds up to key and constant additions are identical. The last round is all linear and does not add any security to the cipher. Its reason for being there is to make it possible to have the same structure for decryption as the one for encryption. It's in, the internal state of the cipher is shown by, by a 4 times 4 matrix of nibbles and its overall structure is very similar to the one in Iskini and Midori block ciphers. But there is a big difference here and that is all the round operations used in craft are involutive, per, involutive operations. In more details, there are five operations in each round. Starting with an input state shown by this figure, the first operation is mix columns, which is a, which a binary matrix is multiplied to each column. Then there is a round constant that only a 4-bit and the 3-bit values are exhorted to the fifth, uh, fourth and fifth nibbles of the state. It follows by and add round two key, which depending on the round index, one of the four two keys is exhorted to all of the state. The fourth, the fourth operation is permute nibbles, that using a permutation P changes the position of the nibbles in the state. The last and the only round uh, and the only nonlinear operation is the subbox layer that an involutive S-box is applied to each of the nipples. Note that in the last round, only, only this, the first three operations are included. About the Tweaky schedule, it's a Tweaky iterating one. It builds four Tweakies and depending on the reminder of the round index to four, uses one of them. Precisely, it splits the 128-bit key into two 64-bit keys, K0 and K1. K0 will be used in the rounds with an even index and K1 in the rounds with an odd index. By exhorting the tweak itself to each of these keys, the first two tweak keys are produced. Then by using a circulant permutation Q, it changes the position of tweak nibbles and by exhorting this modified tweak to each of the keys, it computes two other tweakies. All together, this structure of craft makes it possible that the decryption with the cipher to be as same as the encryption up to a modification on the tweakies and the round constants. 
It just needs to reverse the order of round constants and also modify the two keys with this equation shown here. Now we explain how to get the weak to e key structure of the craft cipher. We started by explaining two properties of its round operations. The first one is about the mixed columns operation. In the mixed columns operation for the J's column of the state for the J's column of the state we have this equation. It means that only a linear com combination of the second and third nibbles is exhort to the zeros and first nibbles. Extending this to all of the columns and the state, one uh, and considering x prime as the upper half of the input state and x double prime as the bottom half, in the output of the mixed columns operations operation x double prime stays unchanged and a linear mapping of x double prime is exhort to x prime. We showed this uh, linear mapping on x double prime by mx prime, mc prime. The second property is about the permute nibbles operation. As previously shown, in this operation, upper half of the state in the input goes to the bottom half in the output and the bottom half in the input goes to the upper half in the output. We separate this operation to pn prime and pn double prime and since pn itself is an involutive operation it makes that pn double prime to be inverse of the pn prime. Using these two properties it is possible to represent the round function for craft and for this purpose, we also separate both uh, the add round to e key and subbox operations into two parts, that each part works on half of the uh, state. Here, in this figure, we depict the two consecutive rounds of craft. The left branch shows the upper half, upper half of the state and the right branch shows the bottom half. It starts with mixed column then add round, add round constants, add round tweak is that is uh, separated to two parts, then subbox that is again separated to two parts, and then permute nibbles. It is possible to bring the SP prime and PN double prime and switch their position. And also here SP prime and PN prime. Moreover, it is possible to bring these SP prime and PN prime from here ending end of the left branch to the uh, beginning of right branch in the next round. As it is shown in this figure. Again, these two operations can be uh, transmitted to inside of mix, uh, inside of bridging branch and also after the bridge point. So like this. We bring these two operations to here and also here. As I said, we can switch the position of these two operations and also these two operations. By switching the position of these two operations, uh, since pn prime and pn double prime are inverse of each other, we can remove them just by modifying this uh, two key addition. We denote this modified two key by, uh, by tk triple prime. This is a new representation of the craft round function which is very similar to, uh, similar to the Faisal network. With the, the only difference is that in the Faisal network, the right branch transits to the left branch of the next round without any changes. In, uh, that in our case, in here, uh, this 
Transition is over a key dependent SBox layer for craft, but in the case of Feistel network, it should be identity function. However, due to the involutive being of the SBox, if and only if the value for TK triple prime is zero, then this key dependent SBox layer will be the same as the identity function. Then, for a round with these weak two key values, we will have th this round function. And if all the rounds have the same kind of weak two key value, the cipher will follow the Feistel network's structure. Therefore, for the current two key schedule of craft with the proposed key permutation, the 128 bit key must be one of the 2 to the 88 weak keys, and for each weak key, there are exactly 2 to the 8 weak, tweak, weak tweaks. We should emphasize that the Q permutation plays an important role here in determining the size of sets for weak keys or weak tweaks. In, this, in the paper, we showed that depending on the Q permutation, the size of a uh, weak key set can vary from 2 to the 68 to 2 to the from 2 to the 68 to 2 to the 96. We recall that the only criterion for the current Q permutation was to be circulant permutation. From those 15 factorial six, 15 factorial circulant permutations satisfying this condition only 1000 1000 were taken randomly and the one with maximum resistance against the related tweak differential was chosen as the q permutation here in this paper we showed that the q permutation could be also chosen in a way to minimize the size for uh, for the weak key set there is another observation in the weak tweak key structure of the craft. It is well known that we can bring the round tweak key from here to input of the bridging branch. Since the round tweak keys used in the craft uh, are iterating over uh, every four rounds in the round functions in the right figure, the equivalent tweak is will be iterative over eight rounds. And uh, these equivalent equ tweak is will be as, as it is shown in these equations. As you see, the first and the last tweak is equivalent tweak is both are zero and the two middle ones are only dependent on the tweak values. This new representation and the, and the weak tweak key structure of the cipher can be applied against different types of attacks to evaluate its security. But in this paper, we only did it for differential analysis and now I'm going to talk about the, about the details. We started with counting the number of minimum active boxes in the different in the differential trails. For this, we used the MILP tool introduced by Sun et al. at AsiaCrypt 2014 to find all the differential patterns with the minimum active boxes. And here are the results. The numbers in the first row are for the original craft and the numbers in the second row are for the victory key structure of the cipher. As you see, in almost all of the round numbers for week two key is half of the ones for original for the original cipher. Note that this tool does not consider the S box used in the cipher and only considers the transitions within the linear layer. Then using these differential patterns with the minimum number of active S boxes for each number of rounds. We used the tool introduced by Maria Alceta, Grigor Landa, and me at Indocrypt 2020 to find the differentials with the highest EDP value. Precisely, 
For all individual input and output differential values, this tool sums EDP of all differential trails within the given activity pattern. Therefore, the EDP value returned by this tool will be, the, will be a lower value than its exact value. In the table, we report the maximum value for EDP of these differentials. Note that the values are given in the logarithmic in the base of 2. As you see, we could find 19 round differentials with EDP of slightly better than 2 to the minus 64, but it was not possible uh, to find any for 20 rounds or more. For the next step of our analysis, we try to make the weak to key, key sets larger. For this, for this uh, goal, we use this simple relation that for an inactive keyed S box, we do not necessarily need the tweak key value to be, to be zero. Because for any tweak, tweak key value, if the input difference to, the, uh, to this keyed S box is zero, the output difference also will be zero. For example, here we show one of one of the four 18 round differential patterns with the minimum number of active S boxes, and also the one active uh, differential pattern uh, th that includes a differential with the highest reported EDP value. Here we only need to fix the round tweaking nibbles, which correspond to the active S active keyed S boxes and we show these nibbles in blue color. Those two key nibbles are listed here and since the round two keys are iterative after four rounds, all of these equations can be, can be simplified to this uh, short list. Satisfying these equations needs that the 128-bit key must be one of the 2 to the 112 weak keys and the tweak must be one of the 2 to the 48 weak tweaks. With, but with three extra conditions between key and tweak nibbles. So there are exactly 2 to the 36 weak tweaks for each weak key value. Until this point, we have discussed the single tweak differentials. To use the related tweaks in the weak tweak key structure of the craft, we need to make sure that in the keyed S boxes, the tweak key difference all are equal to zero. Using this condition on all the rounds, we need that the differences in these nibbles listed here to be zero. Therefore, two nibbles of the tweak, namely nibbles index 2 and 5, are free to have a non-zero differences. The second attack we presented in this paper is based on the, 100, uh, uh, the 21 round differentials with index RT0. Using these differentials, we could do a key recovery attack on 26 rounds of the cipher. The differentials used in this attack have an EDP of about 2 to the minus 61 and we extend them by 4 rounds on the plain text side and 1 round on the ciphertext side for key recovering. The attack works for 
2 to the 108 weak keys and 2 to the 52 weak tweaks. But there are 3 extra conditions between key and tweak nibbles, so it means 2 to the 40 weak tweaks for each weak key value. The complexity of this uh, attack is about 2 to the 105 encryptions and 2 to the 73 chosen tweak, uh, tweak plain text cipher text tuples of data and it needs 2 to the 60 blocks of memory. To summarize this paper, first we presented an equivalent representation of craft block cipher then we showed how to make this representation to a weak to key structure that follows the Feistel network. And then we analyzed this structure against the differential attack. We presented 23 round single tweak and a 26 round related tweak differential attacks in the weak key scenario. And as far as we know, they are the best attacks against craft by definition of best to be uh, the highest uh, to be with the highest number of rounds. We emphasize that these attacks do not overcome the security claim of the cipher. And thank you for watching this video.